great moment it is when the lights come on, no matter how many times you've seen it. I agree. And you know, we had the opportunity to sit down with Aitha and Joanna and learn a little bit more about them and just how it feels to be 100 years old. Oh, my children. That is special. Special. That's how Aitha Stubbs describes this one-of-a-kind handmade quilt featuring dozens of photos of her children and grandchildren. These two were 17 months apart. She remembers incredible details of each and every photo as if it were yesterday. This one was taken in front of 1011 East McKinley. And Aitha has had a lot of yesterdays. I was born in 1910, January the 22nd. Aitha and her twin sister, Addie Idella, were born in Alabama. Now, at the same time, in 1910, Glendale was incorporated and became an official town in Arizona. And also, right about that time, across the country, Joanna Wright was born on the East Coast. I was born near Kingston, New York, and I was born in 10, 10 09. Joanna and Aitha live here at Glencroft, a retirement community in Glendale. And because Joanna and Aitha are centenarians during the same year the city of Glendale celebrates its centennial, both women were honored with turning on the lights at Glendale Glitters. I, I, I feel very uh, flattered. That's wonderful. Do you know how many lights you'll be turning on? I've forgotten. I think I've heard, but I... 1.5 million. Oh my goodness, I hope they don't backfire. <laughs> They've lived long, rewarding lives with stories that these days only few can tell, like Joanna's husband being friends with Babe Ruth. Babe was on one team, my husband was on another team, and we played against each other, and they became friends, and of course, I tagged along. And when the time finally came to turn on the lights. Three, two, one. Look Age didn't matter. It was all about attitude, excitement, and having a love for life. Oh, exciting, beautiful memories. A lot of lovely people. It was just great. Enjoyable, everything was enjoyable. The music, the friendly people. Aitha and Joanna certainly felt like the bells of the ball tonight with tens of thousands of people here in downtown Glendale to be part of the magical moment of turning on the lights. 